Jason, what are your thoughts on the state of Disney right now? Um, I think they're having a lot of trouble with their more more recent stuff. Yes. Wish and Marvels. So they've been having a lot of trouble. Taking a lot of L's. They have been taking a lot of L's. And you know, one man, one hero is stepping in to save the day. Mr. Bob Iger. Mm. Yes. Mr. Bob Iger is stepping in and saying the company's movies have been too focused on messaging and not enough storytelling. Oh, what really? Are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really <laughs> yes, now? Yes, it's literally all messaging. Mm. Yes. He's saying you that... You don't the, say. He, <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, he is saying that they've lost their way. You, it's not surprising. You're going to go resurrect... Put all those billions to resurrecting... <laughs> Oh, Walt, Walt Disney. Disney. <laughs> oh, my in God. His cryo chamber. In his cryo chamber. He'll come out, and he'll come out with a new Mickey Mouse. Um, okay. Mouse. okay, so the thing is, yes, we all know this. Mm -hmm. uh, Marvel's made the least amount of money that any MCU movie has made. Wish Besides the Hulk. Oh, besides, <laughs> well, okay, okay, the Hulk. Okay, but that's fine. But, but most recent movies, yes. Yes, but most recent movies, yes. Wish, wish also, mm. uh, spectacularly, it flopped. So it, um, yeah, they have not been focusing on the storytelling, and this is what Bob Iger is saying. I think the crazy thing is that the people who say that, like, the MCU and like people have like superhero fatigue and stuff, I think. That might be incorrect too, because like um, Guardians of the Galaxy three did amazingly well. Yes, actually. So I, like people really gravitated towards that, but pe but it's a Marvel movie. Yeah, you, you know? know what? I haven't watched it, but I talked to someone that said they watched it, and they said it's one. Of, it's the best it's Guardians. Really good. Yeah, they said it's the yeah. best Guardians of the Galaxy movie, and they would watch I it really, again. I know. I really enjoyed it. It's like <laughs> really heartfelt. Yeah, oh my god! I need to watch this message. movie. I need to watch this movie now. Uh, okay, but besides that, uh, Disney CEO Bob Iger said he will no longer tolerate his company's partners and his creative team prioritizing the messaging over storytelling. Mm. So, I mean, like, we've all seen this coming. Like, I feel like mm. movies before had better storytelling than they do now. I think previous movies that they have put out. He mm. also says, by the way, Creators lost sight of what their number one objective needed to be. Hmm. We have an in, we have to entertain first. It's not about messages. You know another thing. I don't know if you have it written there, mm -hmm. but he was um, pressed and asked about the the Marvels. Oh, I know. I don't have this written. Yeah, and um, he goes and explains that that movie was filmed during uh 2020 like the covid times oh interesting so he was saying that like oh this movie wasn't um oversaw by executives and this new normally would have been overseen by an executive like day by day yeah and um he was saying that going forward it's going to be more oversight on every single movie that comes out that's wild. Yeah, which is, I mean, executive Overwatch. I mean, but I mean, each project is like billions of dollars, and this one movie, Marvels, is probably not, might not break even. Yeah, I did. I, I did hear that. I think it, they were the ones that also put element. Uh, what is it? Element? I think Elemento or something like oh, that. Oh, the Pixar one. Yeah, the Pixar oh, movie. Yeah, I think that one actually did pretty well. It did well internationally, and after yeah. like a like a very successful marketing uh, strategy that they did have. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so a lot of people went to go watch it. Like from what I heard, for the memes, mm -hmm. um. Just from like one for one character or something like that. It was really strange, but it was like blew up on TikTok or something like that. But um, I have one more thing to say. But before mm -hmm. that, um, I want to say that if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. Um, we put out videos daily. We have a library of over 200 videos. Um, and, you know, subscribing is free. It doesn't cost you anything. And it really does help out the channel. Mm -hmm. Yes. The last thing that I do want to say mm -hmm. was that... I don't, this is no probably no surprise to anyone. Disney is now pushing to improve the quality of their films in 2024 
and also cutting the number of films that they're going to be releasing in the future. I mean, it makes sense. Um, I do wonder which films they're going to cut back on because I do know that there's a number of controversies that are surrounding uh, Marvel right now and certain actors. Uh, you can put it up here. Okay. So that might be something that's leading into it. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think it also uh, goes into what you were saying with the oversight. I think mm-hmm. maybe movies are now going to take a little bit more, a little longer to um, curate and like go like go through the full process because mm-hmm. like there's going to be someone there day to day to oversee all of these and really make sure that the focus is there on just the storytelling mm-hmm. because yes, a lot of, a lot of times. And I've, I've not only I've read this and I've heard it from people saying that like these movies are trying to like hit you over the head with just the messaging, like that it's so like on the nose that it doesn't make it fun to watch. Yeah. Um, which is kind of wild because like, it's not that they Disney and the MCU can't make good stuff like guardians, but then also like Loki, Oh, yeah, I heard Loki was good. Loki season two is really good. So Yeah, and it reminds me that the Fast and the Furious hits you over the head with family. Mm. That's the whole theme, and everything else is, is everything else is secondary Corona to is that. <laughs> oh. and, and family. Oh, my God, yes. But let us know your guys' thoughts on this. Have you been a, a fan of the most recent Disney films? Have you watched the most recent Disney films? We really l- would like to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Yeah, let us know what you think they should do. Should they just uh, give up on Marvel or give it a break? Or do you think that it's it's not a superhero thing? It's more of a storytelling thing. Oh, you reminded me very last thing. They're thinking of bringing back. Did you hear about this? Bringing back uh, Captain America, Iron Man, and all these other ones. Oh, yeah. Um, our rdj yes for a like a another like avengers Su- super avengers yes yeah, super avengers original cast <laughs> yes if you heard about that let us know in the comments down below